So part of what we do here on the Void Fill is not only do we travel, do backpacking and camping stuff, we also try to focus on things like sustainable living, such as like, you know, growing your own food, being able to take care of yourself, stuff like that. A part of hiking and loving being in nature, and Nicole and I also love animals. Animals are a part of nature. And what we're gonna do is we are going to take this old, unused swing set playhouse that belonged to uh, the previous homeowners and we're gonna turn it into a catio. I've never built a catio before but I reckon I can get it done with the right research. So what we have here is a pretty basic swing set, swing set playhouse sort of thing. You got a ramp going up into a small room, right? Got a roof, perfect, the roof's already there. So the birds can't get the kitties. And you have this silver plate right here, which actually used to, I'm guessing it used to be a slide because that gap correlates right here with this pole sticking out of the ground, which I'm assuming held a plastic slide. So I'm also gonna take that metal plate out of there uh, to increase the field of view for the kitties. And then we have this space here underneath the second floor, we have a first floor. I am going to level this out. What I think I'm gonna do is put some wood down and try to find a synthetic grass, but I might not wanna put in that much effort. I can cut a, a hole or two for the cats to get down. And of course I would uh, have to secure this. I'm thinking either two by two or two by three. I need to figure out what that's called. I need to figure out what the fuck that's even called. But the point is to absolutely secure this bottom area and the top area, but definitely the bottom area so wildlife can't burrow underneath and get to the cats. The purpose of this catio is to give the cats more stimulation, allow them to be outside, and it would be great if we can just be able to securely leave them in here for three to four hours at a time with some water and just know they're okay and that they're gonna be safe. So the first thing I wanna do is remove these studs. It's not going to affect the structural integrity at all. I would like to preface this project with, I've never done one of these do-it-yourself project videos before. So do your own research, everyone, and I'm working with what I already have. Remember that, I'm not building this from scratch like most of the projects are, so keep that in mind. So bear with me on this one, folks. But what, but what I wanna do first is remove these studs. <laughs> What's great about this structure that was built by the previous homeowner for their children is that it's pretty sturdy. It's sturdy enough for my 215 pound self to kneel around in here and do some work. It really doesn't have a lot of uh, defects. There's only a couple defects. I just have to resecure a couple of the roof boards and then there's just this thing I have to resecure and that's it. So I got lucky, I lucked out here. These cats are gonna be spoiled. These cats, are gonna be spoiled. But that's why we get pets to spoil them and love the shit out of them. So boots and topaz, this is for you. The reason I'm wearing earmuffs right now to protect my hearing because I have really bad tinnitus or tinnitus. A lot of people don't know about tinnitus. I like to take a little bit of time to spread tinnitus awareness whenever I can. Hashtag tinnitus awareness. I'm definitely gonna find a way to reuse these wooden planks that I took off. I can get creative and like make steps and shit with them. All right, see how good I did on my first try. That's pretty close. Uh, almost there, almost there. Right now, lumber is extremely expensive. So I was fortunate enough to get a free pallet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the, the pallet cut now. And I'm gonna try to slide the pallet in place, then see how level it is from there. I mean, come on people, this ain't no Bob Via video here. Oh, 
Oh, babe. These projects are always easier when I have an amazing person like Nicole to cook me great healthy meals while I'm working on it. This is one of my all-time favorite breakfasts. Got the first outer base board in. I'm gonna do the same thing to all four sides. Obviously make it as level as I can. This is the little notch that I have to cut out to properly fit uh, against that awkward piece of cement that's sticking out. Five bucks each. Spool stale, baby. Five bucks spools. Get your spools, get your spools. Get your spools now, five dollars. Now that we have this foundation in, we have the four baseboards around the side. We have the pallet. And what we're gonna do with this leftover space, uh, like an idiot, I didn't account for the pallet not being wide enough to completely fill this entire space. But I came up with another better idea and I'm gonna fill this space with a bunch of rocks to complete the high desert theme of this catio. These are some of the rocks that I'm going to use. I'll also use some medium sized rocks and some other larger size rocks. It's going to really look really sweet and completely match this high desert environment. So now that we have this opening, this will be where the cats go from the lower level to the upper level. I'm gonna ramp it like this. Now the really fun part is, and I'm not saying that sarcastically, the fun part is designing and constructing all the cool little widgets, things that'll be up here uh, that the cats can climb upon. I definitely wanna make them a high up area up there towards the top where they can have a, an ultimate perch to look down because after all, they are cats. Also, I got a bunch of these old wooden spools. These are perfect platforms for inside the catio. Got about 20 of these things. So half the work for me is already done when I need to build platforms and uh, fun little obstacles for them. Something else I'm very fortunate to have already is a bunch of these square cut pieces of old carpet or rug. And it's pretty dry out here in the high desert, so I don't expect this carpet to really weather uh, too quickly. Um, also, I don't expect it to get things like mold because it's just so dry out here. I'm gonna put a mast, if you will, or a, a center post that's gonna come from the bottom pallet. It's gonna hug this corner and it's gonna come up to about I want it to come to about right here to match with the loft that I'm gonna put up. Fuck. So my goal is to put a kind of like a loft up here. It's gonna be the, the final top layer, top tier of this catio. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this bottom board here in for my base. I'm gonna take these out to kind of open it up a little bit so the cats can see out better. Like a glove. I'm really excited about this center mast. Not only is it giving me a platform for my top tier, it also allows me to use this as a foundation for other things as well all around the catio first floor and second floor but i'm really excited to build a spiral staircase on this no ah fuck fuck me fuck now that we have our first spool in place from here, now I can make the ramp up to the first floor. I'll have a ramp with little steps, little notches, so it's easy for them to make the climb.
something I'm noticing about this is this it's such an old swing set it hasn't been actually used in years and years um, there's a lot of this dust buildup and dirt and grime or whatever the hell it is we don't want the kitties getting dirty with that stuff I managed to find this awesome wire brush that attaches to the end of a broom handle I may just end up doing that around this whole thing just to give it a good because look at this look how dirty this shit is Roughly eyeballing it. That looks good. Take the level. And this is not the most effective way to do this. Keep in mind. About halfway done with the spiral staircase on the second floor. I'm not gonna go all the way to the top. I'm probably gonna go to about there so I can branch off and make an entrance to the fourth floor attic area. But it's looking pretty good so far with the dowels. Thank you, Bob, for this idea. Sweet. So now I have a complete set up for the cats to get to the fourth floor to the second floor they can come up the spiral staircase hop up to here and then hop up to here i wanted to make sure that this board and that this top board are a little extra wide just to be on the safe side to give them a little extra room to not only go up but to come down as well just got done building this part it is completely unnecessary but just another platform for the kitties to go on. They can lounge right here or they can lounge right here. I get this idea by browsing Pinterest and seeing other what other people did for their catios. Fucking drop it! Holy shit! Oh, sorry. Well, I'm just gonna tie it off here and then we can just adjust that. Exactly. Okay. Look at that. Come on. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna sand down any part that looks sharp or rough. Double check to make sure there's not the uh, other end of a screw poking out anywhere. Uh, you know, just really go around, double check, and really make sure there's nothing that the kitties can accidentally scratch or hurt themselves on. This is a really good example of what I'm gonna go around and get rid of. This is the end of a screw coming through the bottom of a board. Don't be lazy. Always make sure that these little really, really sharp or rough edges are taken care of. Otherwise, you can really mess yourself up or soak in the cats.
Oh yeah, now we got a swinging gate, a swinging door. We're gonna have a little litter box there in the corner, right there. And then I also want access in case we need to get in there and maintain the place or grab the cats or whatever. And at first I wanted to make a, a traditional swing door half the length of this side. But then I thought you might as well just do the whole thing because if it's only half the length then it's probably gonna get in your way while you're going in there trying to do stuff. So hell, let's go for the whole thing, go for the gold. This high desert catio comes complete with a litter box. And you know I'm keeping that desert theme. You know it. We have a gravel that we, we sift and it makes a very, very fine rocky dust. It's perfect for a litter box. So maybe they use it, maybe they don't, but they have it just in case they want it. Wowie, it sure as hell was fun building this here catio. That is how you turn an old swing set into a grade a premium catio so now i'm gonna uh, take the air compressor to it give it one more blowout and then some picture perfect footage for the final walkthrough mm -hmm. 